What's up guys, Jenna here and back again for another video and it is an episode of Games You Must Play and today I want to talk about the original Xbox. Now before I dive into this guys, my original Xbox collection isn't as strong let's just say as other areas of my collection so what I genuinely would love, I would really really appreciate actually, a little bit of help from you good people and and add value, I, I, I want recommendations because I, I think that one of the kind of directions I really want to take my collection is to now boost my original Xbox collection. I want to give a little bit more time to that console. Um, I actually prefer, like just, the, like just think about the PAL cases alone of the bland PS2 spines compared to the awesome kind of original Xbox lines, so like spines, it re they really pop compared to the PS2 stuff. I have loads of PS2 games, well over 250, maybe up to kind of around 300 now. It's been a long time since I've counted. Um, and it's just that, you know, the balance is so off between the two consoles. I'm really gonna start pushing my original Xbox collection that little bit more. So guys, please let me know some recommendations of some exclusives that I could potentially buy. That's one side, guys. I've picked out three titles that we must play. We have to have, we just have to have these in the collection. Now, it was really difficult, as with all of the videos in this playlist, to drill down like three games to pick from a massive library of games. Um, it's really, really difficult. So, I'm very aware that there's a ton of games that are going to be just as awesome as these three. So, let's drill down. Let's get into it, guys. My first game, let's take a look. Guys, a game that I really, really do enjoy on the original Xbox. I picked out Outrun 2. Classic formula, classic arcade that have been given, it's been given like kind of so many re-releases. So many re-releases. Um, but what I really like about this um, is the way it looks. I love the fact that it keeps that kind of genuine um, kind of Outrun classic look. You know, you can change your soundtrack. You can pick, you know, different tracks. Uh, but I also like the additional features that are bolted into this. You know, the kind of the time trials, the heart attack mode where you have to do maybe like different stunts versus the, you know, kind of like racing against the time. I absolutely love it. And for me, it is just one of those games that really gets my heart pumping. Um, and I think, again, it just takes Outrun that little bit further. That does that little bit more with the additional modes. Um, I believe Ferrari had an official... Um, there's some official licensing um, in this game with Ferrari. Um, actually, kind of says on the back, official licensed product. I think that has a lot of kind of credibility really to the Outrun series and just how popular it is amongst gamers. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are really into this game. Um, it's certainly a game that I grew up on way back, um, way back when. I think I first played this um, with my auntie at some point. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I must have been kind of maybe five or six years old. Um, and again, a lot of you guys I know really enjoy the Outrun series. And um, for me, I was kind of thinking maybe like Burnout 3 or this. You know, I know Burnout 3 isn't um, an original Xbox exclusive, but nonetheless, Outrun 2, you've got to play it, guys. It is awesome. If you like your races, um, if you like your arcade races, definitely snag a copy of this. And if you've played it, let me know. And if you haven't, also let me know in the comment section below. Next up then is another classic franchise. Um, and a game that really surprised me back in the day, a game that literally made me swap my entire PS2 collection for an original Xbox, brand new, and a brand new copy of this game. Literally, I took my entire collection uh, to game back in the day for this. 2005, I believe it was. It is Doom 3. Now, this game for me has a few kind of personal controversies, a few personal kind of conflicts. Because um, for somebody that grew up with Doom um, on the PC, I was very, very kind of much, very into the kind of classic feel of Doom, if that makes sense. You know, the classic look of the imps. Um, I just felt that Doom 3 did lose it a little bit, but nonetheless, it's really, really grown on me. Um, and my friend Alex, back in the day, in 2005, um, back when I had a, a, a crap job, um, we used to kind of stand and talk for hours and it was him that actually really got me into this and I was so excited for the kind of the revamp of the Doom series that like I said it literally you know I got rid of my entire PS2 collection when it was you know quite worth quite a bit back in the day um, and traded it for this now um, it is a very different kind of Doom game a uh, very very different feel it seems kind of a hell of a lot more serious graphically this game I think has held up incredibly well um, the sound effects really do kind of hone true. There's kind of so much intricacy with the sound effects, the kind of blood splatters, the gore, the impacts. 
um, you know, of kind of bullets and, and like punching um, enemies, you know, it really, really does attack my nostalgia palette for want of a better phrase. Um, and I want to know from you guys, is Doom 3 a, a Doom game that you like? Is it something that you don't like? Um, I've said before I've been kind of on the fence about it, but I did play this recently and it, you know what? I sank straight back into feeling that that kind of that warm fuzzy feeling you want to play um, with some of the games that you know, you know, and series, game series that you really, really do love. Um, I never played the expansion for this. Um, again, let me know if you have, is it worth it? And also on the topic of Doom, what do you guys think about the Doom VR? Um, it's not, VR is something that I'm, I'm kind of not into in the slightest, it makes me feel um, kind of sick and dizzy but nonetheless I appreciate games out there that do um, are really into VR, it's not something I'm bothered about but Doom VR, uh, are you into it? Do you like the new Doom game on the PS4 and the Xbox One? Let me know but Doom 3 I think is definitely a game you've got to try it on the original Xbox, give it some love guys um, and again smash those comments below never say enough about this next game um, and I think I'm going to talk about some honourable mentions after I've spoken about this because again it was very difficult to drill down. Guys it is Half-Life 2, again I, I've spoke about this tons and tons and tons of times before, um, again to, right, around 2005 I think for me the original Xbox was at, at its peak in 2005, correct me if you think I am wrong but I think by that time we'd already had such an amazing library of games come out with the Halo franchise uh, bursting onto the scene and I just, I just, this game changed a lot for me and got me through some really dark times. I've completed it multiple times and it will always be a game that I go back to over and over and over again. I love the interactions with, um, you know, the NPCs. Um, I, I love the fact that you don't ever see Gordon's face but he's like right on the case there and I kind of love that mysticism because I play through this and like I imagine that this is, is Gordon Freeman. Uh, but you never actually kind of see his face in the game, which is, is completely baffling for me. I don't know what that's all about, but I kind of like it because it adds that element of mysticism in a world that is just so dangerous and so tricky to kind of navigate around. Um, and then, you know, you could be in complete chaos in Half-Life 2 and then all of a sudden you can be out of it. You know, you can kind of es escape and be in these kind of small crawl spaces that kind of meander into like a secret room and then there's a character there and you know that you get a little bit more about the story and I just I just love that kind of clash you go from there to there and back again in in no time and um, so for me I love this game I love this, I love the sound effects the, the kind of the echoes I'll never forget playing this through for the first time um, I'll never forget it I don't actually now I genuinely now believe that we'll never ever get a Half-Life 3 ever um, I think this is it, and I would be blown away uh, if we ever if we ever did. But guys, Half-Life 2 is a special place in my heart. Let me know if you've played it, let me know if you haven't. Again, share some of your Half-Life 2 memories with me in the comment section below. So there we go guys, I did say um, that I was going to give some kind of honourable mentions. I did pick up this the other day for a pound, for a quid. Time Split is 2 on the original Xbox, like I said, I am in the market the new um, original Xbox games. I know this isn't an exclusive, but nonetheless a quid. It was six pound on PS2, which I already own, but a pound. So I think that's really awesome. Um, I was considering putting kind of Morrowind in this video. Um, we got her right here, um, where are we? Panzer Dragoon Auto, you know, really, really decent ex original Xbox games. And I think for me, this has probably been one of the more difficult episodes because I've been thinking a lot about the original Xbox recently and I've played way more games on the system than what I actually own and that was, I kind of felt like, you know what, I really do need to give this console a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit more time and that's where you guys come in. So as I said in the intro, let me know some games that I can pick up. Give me kind of rough ideas on prices, you know, so I know what to look out for, what's a good bargain, what's what's like a complete, you know, crap ripoff. And um, because you guys always add value to these videos, so thank you so much for that guys. Thank you so much. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. Um, please hit subscribe and hit like if you feel like that's what you want to do. If you don't, thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. My name is Gemma. Take care. See you soon.